a new week and we have more work being done on George today. We are here visiting with Johan. Say hello Johan. Hello. <laughs> We're busy, um, busy taking a look at some of the things in the back of the bus. Uh, George the bus as someone has pointed out and we will see what's so going on. We've removed the starter motor all the way down there. Uh, that's to, so that we can actually see if we can get a different kind of starter motor. That also involves the alternator that was over there. Um, Johan has been hard at work making the brackets to install the new tank for our waste oil to fuel conversion. So we're going to still have the original diesel tank. We're going to have another tank installed up here to take the waste oil. And if you keep subscribed, you will see as this gets installed and how we install it and get it working. Johan also tells me his grandkids have been tidying up inside. Let's go take a look at what's going on inside the bus, shall we? Ooh, that looks very tidy. Very tidy indeed. Back here again at Johan's workshop. Hi Johan. Hello. <laughs> Where he's busy working on the fuel tank. Uh, he's busy putting in a, he's busy moving the sender. Uh, just checking on that. Cause making sure that my installation, I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> busy checking that my installation was good. Uh, lots of fun busy working on that tank. Trust me, I've taken that thing in and out a couple of times. And it's a mission to fight uh, to work out how all the screws fit in properly. This is my fuel tank, my replacement fuel tank, and it's also got a filter built in. Ooh, nice big tank, able to take a lot of fuel. Ah, this is what's going to be taking our um, oil. So, there we go. We got both fuel tanks installed. One for the used oil, one for the diesel. And even though it says diesel on the lid, this is for used oil. It's a bit of a tight squeeze to get the lid off. But there we go. Also has built into it a little filter. Gauges all set up and linked up down there as well. And everything. Huh, even has anti even has anti anti lid losing cables on it. <laughs> so you can't lose this lid. Unlike this lid, which is um easily lost. <laughs> tank, yeah, extra tank. That's going to be num uh, mark number two. And that's the one that's going right through the pipes, is that right? came all the way down and here we're going to put valves in here to change it between the two tanks for tank one and tank two 
And the same with the feedback, the, the feedback gave the same valve system. So you can change it so you don't put oil in the diesel and diesel in the oil to keep it separate. That's how that system is going to run. And the rest is, I can just take time to sort everything out, get everything right, right and put it together like a big puzzle. And then you can go on with it.